hey hey happy day so yesterday I did a video on grounding and um, I kind of leaped frog frogged past quite an important um, aspect when we're doing energy work and that is actually creating the sacred space and the sacred being for the sacred being to be in um, a space is not necessarily a place it is you taking up space and in this place here and now and there are various ways that we can create sacred space so within yourself um, it's about breathing about becoming aware of yourself as a being on this physical plane and um, really just trying to clear your mind getting into a form of meditative um, present space um, we can also uh, create, we do that through breathing and through visualization. So you would imagine perhaps um, that you are surrounded um, or you would imagine in your mind's eye being safe, comfortable, um, secure, um, and uh, perhaps not entirely alone as, as a being, but perhaps being supported energetically, um, by the vibrations around you, the vibes. Then we can create our sacred space externally, so the place or room that you're in. Um, you want to make sure that it is, um, again, always safe and warm and comfortable. It's a very important place to start when doing energy work. Um, so one of the things that we could use is a candle. Um, if you use a scented candle, you will stimulate both the eye sense, the seeing sense, and the smelling sense, um, and a candle is uh, useful in that it uh, gives your eye a point of focus, and also fire and flame are known to transmute negative energies, they burn off negative energies. Um, the other thing we could use are crystals, um, there are different um, types of crystals you could use. I would, I like to use clear quartz uh, to create a clear um, space and um, whichever crystal you use will energize that space and infuse it with its own energies. So I'm also working with this one at the moment um, because I'm doing a lot of uh, heart chakra work and uh, the green rays of love and nature and Gaia then you also can uh, work with scent so things like frankincense you'd burn on a coal not only would it stimulate your uh, sense of smell and taste but it also disinfects and purifies the air and it also has the effect on the mind to help with um, creating a meditative state, st um, state. I also love to burn incense. This is one of my favorites, which I pick up from uh, my local Tass Bar hippie shop. Um, but you can get whatever incense is most pleasing to you. Um, also, you could have plants in your space. Um, you could play music. Uh, so uh, I had another. You could, uh, other than music, you could use um, sound things that make sounds like this bell if you hold it in your hand the weight uh, it's comforting and then the sound is quite pleasing so we in creating a sacred space we are trying to meet the needs of all our senses um, what we see what we smell what we taste what we hear and then what we feel both uh, as far as soft hard cold um, warm um, but you know the sense of uh, again our physical being taking up and holding space in this physical plane um, and then not only that but then um, within our personal space um, energetically owning our personal space um, so that's all the space that I'm talking about that we are creating to be sacred and um, I can't off the cuff think of anything more now but again these are are concepts that we could explore more in depth on a one-to-one -one basis or within a workshop so uh, I welcome any questions uh, I love engagement and feedback uh, thank you for 
uh, your support and have a beautiful day. Namaste in the cage.